In this video, we're going to download SQL Server Management Studio 20 and solve a problem connecting that didn't used to be there in SSMS 19. Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. SQL Server Management Studio, or SSMS, is the common front engine to use SQL Server. Another commonly used program is Azure Data Studio. Now, SQL Server Management Studio continues to evolve and version 20 was released in April 2024. However, there is an additional complication if you have just installed SQL Server on your own computer and wish to use SSMS as a way of communicating with your own server. So let's just download SQL Server Management Studio and we can see from this link, I can just click on download SQL server or I can go down to the download SSMS and we'll see what the latest version is. So at the time of recording, it's version 20.1. However, it keeps updating. So it might be 20.2, 20.3. It doesn't really matter. What does matter is that this is the latest version and whatever the latest version is, as long as it is not a preview version, then I suggest you download it. Now, if you want a previous version, then we can scroll down to previous versions, click on previous SSMS releases, and you can download, for instance, version 19.3. So that is the last of the version 19s. So what I'm going to do is just wait for this to finish installing. So I'll just pause the video while it does that. So here you can see it has finished downloading. So I'll click on it. And here you can see, welcome to this release. This is the location to install. You can change that if you wish, but otherwise just click on install. I've got a dialog box. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? So I'm going to say yes. Now it's a fairly swift install. How swift depends on what other programs you have got installed, but I'm just going to speed the video up so you can see it install. So now you can see that it has installed. So I'll just click close and then I'll go to my start menu and I'll just click on SQL Server Management Studio 20. So I'm going to put it here on the left hand side and I'm also going to open on the right hand side, the previous version, version 19. So you can compare and contrast both versions. So here they are. And what I'm going to do is connect to the database engine in both of them. So what I'm going to do is connect to my local server. So that is on my own computer. And the server name is either localhost, one word, or dot. So in version 19, I'm going to click connect. And here you can see with the default settings, it connects. If I try connecting using SSMS 20, with the default settings, here we've got a problem. Cannot connect to dot, dot being the name of my server. A connection was successfully established with the server. So the good news is that it's able to reach the server. So the problem is not a networking problem. But then an error occurred during the login process. The certificate chain was issued by an authority that is not trusted. So what does this mean? Well, this is happening because we are using an encrypted connection to SQL Server. So what happens is that there is a list of trusted certificate authorities and Secure Channel or Scannel is in charge of making sure that your server, your SQL Server has a certificate which has been issued by a certificate authority, a known certificate authority, in other words, not just you. Now, by default, SQL Server will have a certificate, but it won't be by certificate authority. Instead, it will be generated by SQL Server itself, by your own computer. And that is not sufficient for a encrypted connection. Now, because I'm just connecting to my own computer, to my own server, I don't need an encrypted connection. However, if you are using a production environment, or you are using a server that is connected to the internet, then yes, I would buy and install a certificate from a certificate authority. 
Now, suppose that isn't the case. Suppose all you want to do is connect to your own computer. And in fact, this is the sort of thing that we've been able to do with SSMS 19.219.3. So what is the way around this? What is the way to stop getting this message when connecting to your own computer? And what you need to do is turn off the encryption for the connection. Now I can show how this works in SSMS 19 as well. So if I go into the options and click on encrypt connection and then try to connect, I get exactly the same error message. So it was the case in SSMS 19 that such a scenario was possible. However, it used to be that encrypt connection was turned off by default in SSMS 19, whereas in the newer SSMS 20, it is turned on by default. So how do we turn it off in SSMS 19? Well, we just uncheck a box. How do we turn it off in SSMS 20? Well, we go to the encryption, connection security, and we change this from mandatory to optional. So if I try to connect using mandatory, I get this error message. If I go into optional and connect, then that's fine. Is that the only way? Well, if I change this to mandatory and I check trust server certificate, then again, I can also connect. So that is also saying I want to have an encrypted connection, but the certificate which is on SQL server is fine. You can trust it. In a minute, we'll have a look at another big change that has happened because of the launch of SQL Server Management Studio 20. However, if you'd like help developing your queries once you've got into SSMS, then I hope you'll consider going to our website, idodata.com. We've got plenty of video courses relating to SQL. So if I click on SQL, you can see that we've got three courses relating to TSQL. That's the programming language behind SQL queries a one hour course, a nine hour course, and a 29 hour course. It depends how deep you want to get into creating SQL server queries. We've also got video courses on database administration, SQL server analysis services, integration services, reporting services, and more. And there are plenty of videos on other topics. So I hope you'll come to our website, idudata.com. But now let's get back to the changes with SQL server management studio, version 20. Now, another change that has happened with SSMS 20 is that Azure Data Studio is not installed at the same time. So it used to be that SSMS, when you installed it in version 17, that there wasn't an additional product, but partway through 18 and all the way through 19, then Azure Data Studio was installed as a bundled product. So it's no longer there. If you do want to install Azure Data Studio, then we just need to go up slightly to Azure Data Studio. And you can see we've got a download button, but that's a download for SQL Server. Instead, we've got a download Azure Data Studio. And if I scroll down, we can either download it from here or scroll down further and select Windows, Mac OS or Linux and then click on this user installer. And this is a much friendlier interface than having to work out which of these options you need. So I will just scroll down a bit further and install Azure Data Studio if you want it installing. So in this video, we've had a look at SQL Server Management Studio 20, and we can see two ways to get around this problem when connecting to a local machine. Either change the encryption to optional, or say mandatory, but check trust server certificate. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, then please click like, and why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.